As the world embraces clean energy initiatives, demand for critical minerals that will drive that transition is skyrocketing. Clean energy technologies alone will demand four times our current mineral input by 2040. The International Energy Agency foresees mineral demand, specifically for electrical vehicles, EVs, and grid storage for EV batteries, increasing by at least 30 times by 2040. Meanwhile, the U.S. faces profound challenges to its critical mineral supply chain, such as a burdensome permitting process that could take 7 to 10 years or more, and serious global competition, particularly from China. China has built a huge lead over the U.S. in processing and producing critical minerals due to its lower ESG standards, more favorable financing terms, its ability to leverage foreign investments, and substantial government research and subsidies. A recent Wilson Center report argues that both processing and primary production are vitally important elements of the U.S. supply chain that must be reshored, nearshored, or ally-shored to make America's supply chains more resilient. It recommends that the U.S. government consider new legislation to encourage investment in U.S. mining, collaborate with the private sector and state governments to develop indigenous U.S. resources, especially by providing a stable and streamlined regulatory environment, emulate international best practices for regulation and permitting to reduce project lead times, and evaluate policy on stockpiling, strategic reserves, and recycling. Simultaneously, the private sector should seek to improve its perceived risk profile among investors and invest in professional education programs and better messaging to change the image of the mining sector among young people. The report also recommends private-public partnerships that will welcome new sources of materials, especially if they offer a path to faster resource development while respecting environmental and social standards and develop binding international agreements to improve environmental, social, and governance standards, while enforcing rules that result in a level playing field currently tilted heavily in favor of China.